Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if the Alt and the Tab key shortcut is not working properly on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing we are going to do is right click on the taskbar and select Task Manager. Now you want to locate the Windows Explorer process. So if you want to just scroll down in this list, or you can click on a random process and just start typing in Windows Explorer. And you can see it right here. Go ahead and right click on that and select Restart. Give it a moment. And then see if the Alt and Tab key combination has resumed proper function. If you are still having a problem, something else we can try here as well would be to open up the search menu and type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result, check them back to registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select the File and then Export tab. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set Export Range to All, and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you'd have to do is select File and then Import, and then navigate to the file location. So now that that's done, we're ready to begin. And we're going to start off by double-clicking on the HK Current User folder. So go ahead and double-click on that. Same thing for the Control Panel folder. And then finally, there should be a Desktop folder in here. Just left-click on that one time. There should be a file over on the right side, a D-word value. This is Foreground Lock Timeout right here. Double-click on it. So the value data, if you set it to 2,000, that would disable it. So if you want to re-enable it, just delete whatever is in this value data field. Base should be decimal. So again, make sure base is decimal here. Don't have it hexadecimal. Usually it's hexadecimal for most of my tutorials. This one you want to keep it decimal. And then value data, delete whatever is in here, and type the number 0. And then select OK. And then once that's done, go ahead and close out of the registry editor. And you want to restart your computer.
So there you go, guys. Hopefully this pointer issue with the Alt and Tab key combination not working properly has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.